new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. The Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear they put in was worse than the calamity itself. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to you. How about Shemel Shai? For the Hebrew Israelites, we come out each and every week to teach you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you're God's chosen people. You're the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We're out here to wake you up and show you these the prophecies of the Bible and that your salvation is near at hand. And it's time to get right with the Most High. We're out here to warn you of your so called your enemy who is who is the devil that the Bible speaks of, which is the so-called white man, who is Esau, your wicked twin brother, and the things that he's about to do in these coming times, as well as warn you of World War III, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. These things are gonna happen in your lifetime, all right? And these things are gonna happen before who, you, who the world knows that Jesus Christ's second return takes place, okay? So it's time to get right with the Heavenly Father and come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments in this culture. All right? So with that said, let's go ahead and get Isaiah real quick. And you know what? Let's get Proverbs 11 and 21. Actually, Salaki. Let's go ahead and go to Matthew, the 24th chapter. You know what I'm saying? Because you see what the climate of America, you see what's going on all throughout this country. You see what's going on throughout the world, man. Prophecy's taking place, you know what I'm saying? And the destruction of this place, which, which is Babylon the Great, is soon to take place, all right, very soon. And it's gonna take place by way of thermonuclear destruction. Simultaneously, the salvation of the 144,000 of the nation of Israel and the elect of Israel, okay? So let's start, start, that, let's start at the top. And this, and when we go on Matthew 24 and 1, this, this is who you know as Jesus Christ speaking, who is a black man from the tribe of Judah, prophesied of these things that are, that are happening right now. You can film all day. Send, it, send that to YouTube, send it to whoever the hell you want to send it to, man. Because this is the prophecy of God, man. This is the word of God happening. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, right. and his disciples came to him for show in him, uh, Slakia, right. for to show him the building of the temple. All right, man. So the new temple is going to be built, man, and it's going to be built through the elect, man. It's going to be built through the the tabernacle of David, which is the hundred and forty-four thousand, the twelve thousand of each tribe, man. All right, the twelve thousand men of each tribe for that man that the Lord has set up to be the governing ruling body of, of the nation of Israel. Under our king, Yahweh, who you call God, under our king, who you know as Jesus Christ, man, which is Yahweh's shot, man. So go ahead. Huh? Huh? Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Verse 2, And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Right, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you deal with America. You know what I'm saying? You deal with these damn Edomites, so-called white people, like this pedophile right here that's filming this right here. His, his kingdom's gonna be thrown down, man. Him and his children's gonna be thrown down. That's you know what I'm saying? And the rest of these damn Edomites gonna be thrown down, man. And the damn wicked Israelites, the two-thirds that love them. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you Uncle Tom Sambo sellouts, man. Don't be destroyed along with him, man. Go ahead. Verse 3. Because every, every king is going to be brought down to the ground by who you know as Jesus Christ, man. Go ahead. Verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what's right, so what shall these, when shall these things be? Because this is 2,000 years ago. Guess what, fast forward 2,000 years later, the things that he's, he's gonna speak of are happening right before our eyes, man. You see this kingdom being brought down morally and infrastructurally and physically, man. Go ahead. 
and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Right, man, many shall come in my name, you know, saying, saying that I am Christ. You know, you got false teachers out here that claim to be us wise, but even, even then you have, you know, these Christian pastors, these white pastors, which are nothing but uh, covert KKK members, you know what I'm saying? That's what they are. And you have this image right here that's been the hallmark of Christianity and slavery for our, for, for our people, man. It's been a hallmark of slavery for our people for how many years, what, 500, 600 years? So yeah, you know this this man, known as the white man, known as the nation of es Esau or Edom, these people are the ones claiming to be Christ, man. When you go into the scriptures, when you go into the manuscripts, when you go into the Greek, you go into the Hebrew, it's shown many times that this man is a black man. The same man whose nation of people is being oppressed to this very day. The Jews back then being oppressed by them white Romans are being oppressed by the modern day Romans, which is the Americans, man. These damn white devils, man, that are walking in America, man. And they are devils, they're deceivers. Diablo, which where that word comes from, is deceiver. This man has deceived the whole world with this damn image right here, man. So go ahead. Come. And shall deceive many. He says he shall deceive many, and he has done that. Go ahead. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Right, so you shall see wars and rumors of wars, man. See the trade war with America and China. Iran just dropped the dollar. So you know this place is on its way out, literally, man. Which, when you deal with Iran, Iran is, is is who? An ally who? It tells you that in, what is that? Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, it tells you that they're allies with Russia, man. And they dropping the dollar, China dropping the dollar, Russia dropping the dollar, which this is not money that we have as Federal Reserve notes, a debt note, because real money is gold and silver if you know anything, all right? That means that this place is on its way out. That means financially, infrastructurally, this place is going out, man, very soon. You see them damn tariffs that they're putting on each other? They're, those are wars that are, that's leading up to a physical war, man, which is that war of Armageddon. World War Three. Go ahead. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. You know what I'm saying? The end is not yet. That's why we're out here on the street corners teaching the word to our people to wake them up, man before the time draws now, before these calamities happen. Hey man, you got, hey my man, you got a question? Oh, no, not yet. Hey, how do, you, how do you feel about America, man? Oh, well, America's the best. It's the best country, right? You know that, do you believe in the Bible? Uh, yeah. Well, do you know that the Bible talks about America's destruction? Oh, okay. you, you know that the Most High thinks that America is the most wicked country that's ever been established? That's right. You know that? That could be. What do you mean it could be? It's either it is or it's not. It's either you're either cold or you're hot. What's, Are you, uh, what's the supporting... Uh, uh, get, it, get, get, it, get Revelations 18. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing, because I have a question. How do you feel about how America was established? Through, uh, it was established through conquest and, and conquest, con con conquest of who? The, the Native Americans. Right. And also, too, how else was it established? Uh, I don't know. It was established by through the transatlantic slave trade. You see this? Oh, okay. you, you see this right here, right? right? Yeah. You see that sign that she was just looking at? Slavery, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, guess what? Don't you feel like the Most High, knowing that, knowing what has happened on the, in this place in America, don't you feel that the Most High has wrath and He has vengeance for those people that were slain and the pe same people whose whose well, essence sure, was slain? It's all gonna, sure, that's gonna get uh, sorted out. I mean, through karma. And, yeah. hey, okay, you believe that, right? Sure. So give give Galatians six and seven. Hold that and give Galatians six and seven. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the Most High, man, He's a just God, right? 
You agree with that, right? And you said, hey, yeah, he, it's going to be sorted out through karma, which is get back, right? You agree with that? Oh, sure. Okay, let's bring this out. <laughs> Go ahead. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Now, I have a question. Even though, the, even though America says, God bless America, does this country uphold any law that the Bible says? Y'all said I'll be deceived. Y'all deceived my motherfucker. Said we're gonna shoot a slave trader. Hey, you know. Hey, I'm asking you a question. Do you believe that the? Do you believe that the? Do you believe that America upholds the laws of God? Possible. Yes, she is a picture. So why? So if you believe that, then why do they allow homosexuals to, for allowed to be legal for homosexuals to get married? When the Bible says, if you if you are a homosexual, if a man lie with a man, a woman lie with a woman. They shall be put to death. So my question is, how how can you say that? Or do you not do you not understand understand what our conversation? Oh, okay. Our uh, America is not the, the laws of America are not in accordance with well, the, let's, the Bible. Let's read this again. Sure. This is the book of Galatians, chapter six, verse seven. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Well, when we when you go look at the TV shows of America, you go look at everything that America's established. Doesn't it mock God? Don't they say? Don't they say that America, you know, what I'm saying was established was established by the laws of God, but then go around and say that transsexuals and homosexuals, you know, have freedom freedom of speech and rights. That goes against the laws of God. So this, this country mocks God, man. So it says, "Be not deceived. He's not mocked." Go ahead. Come on. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. It said, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So my question to you is, hey yo, yeah. my question to you is, don't do you believe that the most the most high, do you believe that the most high has has wrath against white people for what they've done? Sure. Oh yeah. You believe that? Okay, let's let's listen to this uh, verse. Go ahead. Con. Read that again, Slot. That last part. Con, con, con. For whatsoever a man soweth. Right. So if you sow wickedness, slavery, you sow uh, colonization, right? You sow you you sow mass murder. Go ahead. That shall he also reap. It says that shall he also reap. So what th doesn't that mean that you supposed you and your people supposed to be destroyed and killed? For what your ancestors have done? Okay. We are, we are one of the few honest white people out here. So go ahead. Go on. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Right. So this place is going on his last legs and so is the white man's kingdom. So is so is his family, man. So go, go ahead and go back to Matthew uh, 24, where we left off at. You know, because these are the times that we're in. You know what I'm saying? We're in the time of vengeance. We're in the time of the Most High's wrath being poured upon this place, man. If you ain't prepared, speaking of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to be dearest cotton hit in the damn uh, lights, man. You're going to be like a chicken with your head cut off, man. Not knowing what the hell to do. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. Uh -huh. For nation shall rise against nation, right. and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you see going on. You're seeing it with, through the trade wars, but then World War III is going to begin. <laughs> These very things that's recorded in the Bible is coming to pass right before, before your eyes right now. Go ahead. Okay. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. No, we don't. We don't. We don't want no hard work, man. It's about the powers of the air. Hey, we don't want no hard work, man. No, you don't. You don't. No, I don't want no hard work from you, man. Why? Because you're the devil and you're beneath me. Yeah. Well, I mean, this you're an is about, you're this is about devil oh, and Yeah, about get, look, get out of here, man. It's about the powers of the air. Man, get out of here, demon. Bye, bye, devil. Go ahead. Oh, I, I, Come on. I'm part Verse of black, eight. Actually. I'm All part these are the beginning of. So I have a question. So you're I'm, black, but you're. I'm but, part Moorish. 
Yeah. You're part Moorish. You're part North African. Part, yeah. You're part North African? Yep. yep. On whose side? What? On whose side? Let's oh, see, that was uh, my father's side. On your father's side? Uh -huh. So you, you're saying that you're North African on your father's side? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? Just a tiny little bit. Yeah. Well, if you, well, look, man. If you can't find like, if you can't find records of your fathers, you know I I, I don't know I have to. Uh, well, I mean I'm just saying. I have to be on the side. So go, go, go ahead. Talks about powers of the air. So this is about. Well, that's that's good, man. That's good. We we teach the Bible right now. Go ahead. No, no, it's, it's in the Bible. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right. All these things are the beginning of sorrows, man. And people in America is going to be sorrowful, man, because they think that this place is going to go and continue. Hey, we're good, man. We're good, bro. We good, man. All right. So people think that this place is gonna go on forever, when it's not, and they gonna be, they gonna, they gonna be, uh, get caught in a big surprise, man, when this place collapses. This place gonna, it's gonna be full of, full with anarchy, madness, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it, and you gonna see a lot of men getting slaughtered. You gonna see a lot of women getting killed and raped. You know what I'm saying? By these damn crazy peoples out here. You're gonna see a lot of things happen. And you know, in the in the middle of the Lord gonna be safe in that day because we're gonna have the angels on our side, man. Go ahead. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right, you shall be hated for my name's sake. And guess what? The men of the Lord is hate, hated for his name's sake, man. He's hate, we're hated for his name's sake because we teach the truth. We're the, we are the light in the gloom, man. We're the light in the darkness. And this place is nothing but darkness, man. You know, our people are bugged out of their mind, you know what I'm saying, in darkness, in all these different philosophies, believing in all this madness that's going on, liberalism, homosexuality, you know, Christianity, you know what I'm saying, Islam, Freemasonry, all of these wicked religions, man, that have nothing to do with our people. But we're, but we're hated for our for our work to the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Uh, verse 10. And then shall many sorry, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. Right, many hey man. When you deal with the most high, you you've always had traitors in our ranks, man. You always had traitors of the so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, so the Israelites, man. You've always had traitors. That's why you see all throughout history, man, ones that love so love this damn white people that believe in this damn philosophy. They'll come out here and they're gonna they're gonna try to set up the men of the Lord, man. You know, that's the topic of the, of the day. Dealing with these damn uncle Toms, man, in our in our nation, man. And now the Lord is gonna purge them out, man. Because the Most High is gonna destroy two thirds of our people for being wicked and being rebellious unto the Heavenly Father. And simultaneously destroying this damn man's kingdom and putting these people in, in bondage, man. Who's had our people in slavery, man? Go ahead. Verse 11, and many false prophets shall rise uh -huh. and shall deceive many. Right. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right, so iniquity has, has abound in this place, man. Unrighteousness, sin, which is what iniquity is, it has abound in this place, man. Because that's all this place knows of sin. It has no knowledge of God, man. You know what I'm saying? It has no knowledge of God. No, and, and a lot of our people that's mad, that's engulfed in madness, they, they don't have no knowledge of God. They make up their own thing, saying that, you know, the slave trade never happened. You know what I'm saying? The slave trade never happened. These are cool, these are coons in our, in our uh, community, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, coons, hey, coons for the community. You know what I'm saying? Coons for the community. Go, go, uh, go attack any organization. Go attack anybody that's about our, the, uh, the upliftment of black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Attack them, but allow the establishment and institutions of the so-called white men to stay in, in uh, stay afloat, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. The Shout about what they were white people, though. Verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, that's a white man. the same shall be saved. And you know, that's that's how you know that these damn Christ, these Christian pastors, man, are a bunch of damn liars, man. Because they'll tell you that you're saved when you drop yourself into a damn, into a damn uh, pool, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Drop yourself in a damn pool and water and think that's your save. No, you gotta have works to be saved, man. That's how you gonna get up, get the hell up out of here, man. Speaking to you, speaking to you, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Speaking to you, Israelites, you twelve tribes. That's how you're gonna get saved. You're not gonna get saved by your own words or your own vain opinion, man. The Lord don't give a damn about your opinion. He gives a damn about you keeping his laws, and commandments, man. And stop loving these stupid nations, man, that have had a hand in your enslavement, man. Go ahead. On. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for, uh -huh. for a witness unto all nations. Right, so guess what? What do you see right now? You see brothers out here on the street corners all throughout America, all throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth of the Bible, teaching the 12 tribes of Israel of the Bible, man, teaching the God of Israel and what he's really about teaching about his son, who you, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. That's what we're doing out, out here, man. Because he's about to rain uh, fire, fury, fire, uh, fiery fury and judgment upon this place. He's going he's gonna to rain vengeance upon this place, man. And everybody's had a hand in the destruction of our people, which includes some of our people as well, man. Go ahead. Well, a lot of our people, I should say. Go ahead. And then shall the end come. Right, and then shall the end come, man. Huh? Once this gospel been preached throughout the four corners and the elect has been sealed, guess what? It's going to be lights out for America, man. Huh? So with that said, let's go ahead and get Proverbs 11 and 21 real quick, man. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Because that, because the thing about our people, our people have no respect for the Heavenly Father, man. Huh? Uh, a lot of our people have no respect for the truth, man. Our people hate the truth, man. Our people want to create their own truth, their own way, you know what I'm saying, and trying to justify it with vain philosophy, with vain, profane and vain babblings, man. You know what I'm saying? Which goes against the laws of God, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 21. Right. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Right, though hand join in hand, right, because a lot of our people is joined hand in hand with the so-called white men, the Edomite men, and his children, and his women. It tells you, though hand join in hand, go ahead. The wicked shall not be unpunished. The wicked shall not go unpunished, man. 